Number 92. Describe what happens to the average kinetic energy of ideal gas molecules when the conditions are changed as follows. And then let's do letter A. So we have to describe what happens to the, kinetic, the average kinetic energy when the pressure of the gas is increased by reducing the volume at a constant temperature. Okie dokie. So basically what's going on here is we just need to link the idea of kinetic energy with what uh, constants or what uh, units are changing here, whether it's pressure, volume, or temperature. Now, in order to answer this question, there's a useful formula that we could think of, and that's this one. Okay, so maybe I'll just put this over here. Kinetic energy, which is Ke, so this is kinetic energy, the amount of energy of movement. And remember, gases are constantly moving non-stop. So they have a bunch of kinetic energy. Kinetic energy equals one half times m, which is the mass of the gas. And then this u, I don't know why they use u in chemistry. Usually it's a v, but this would be the velocity. In, in physics, when you guys get to physics after this, generally uh, physics is after chemistry on your educational journey, you will see that this would be mv squared. But for chemistry, I don't know why they use u. But we'll stick with u. If you want to use a v, go right ahead. Now, we want to find out what happens to the average kinetic energy. So we're looking for this guy, right? Whether this is going to increase or decrease. Now, for an ideal gas, right, the mass of that gas is going to be constant. So in our case, we could care less what's going on with the mass. But for uh, kinetic energy of, uh, you know, ideal gas molecules, the velocities can increase or decrease at any given moment. So the link between kinetic energy is found within this constant. So we can kind of say that the kinetic energy is proportional I'll just say equals, right, to the U value. And if that case, if the U increases, a.k.a. the velocity increases, the kinetic energy has to increase. But then vice versa, if the velocity decreases, kinetic energy will also decrease. And that's kind of what I wrote down here. So if the velocity increases, the kinetic energy increases. And now there's one little extra thing that's outside of this formula, is that if you jack up the temperature, always, that's an outside uh, variable that will increase the speed of these molecules. So if you make, you know, the container hotter and hotter and hotter, the gas molecules are like on overdrive, and they're going to be working so fast, they're going to be, you know, zipping around all the, 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 the walls of the container. So these are all direct relationships. If you increase the temp, you increase the velocity, which then increases the kinetic energy. So we're only concerned with these units. Pressure, if you do something with the pressure, that has nothing to do with kinetic energy. If you do anything with the volume, that has nothing to do with kinetic energy. But the thing here that matters is that it's at constant temperature. So for A... Since you're at constant temp, and the temperature did not increase, or decrease for that matter, is the average kinetic energy going to increase or decrease? No. Since you didn't change that temp, the average kinetic energy will remain the same. So will not change. And that's the answer for A. Now let's work on B. B says the pressure of the gas is increased, okay. We're increasing the temperature at constant volume. Which one do we care about? We care about that temperature. In this case, they told us that we're increasing the temperature. So if we increase the temp, you guys already know. But if we're increasing the temp, what's going to happen to that kinetic energy? Yeah. It's going to increase. So increase average kinetic energy. 
last one, so these are quick now, since we know the, the, back, the background knowledge. So letter C, ah, the average, oh boy, the average velocity of the molecules is increased by a factor of two. Now this is going back to that equation. If you're jacking up the velocity by two times the amount, right? That's what it said. The average velocity is increased by a factor of two. What's going to happen? Since they're directly proportional, you're going to increase the kinetic energy also by two times the amount. And that's also what's stated down here. If you increase the velocity by anything, the kinetic energy is going to increase. So maybe we'll just, we'll just keep it as increased. So we're going to say increase average velocity. This equals increased average kinetic energy. And there you go. Not bad, guys. What do you think? A, B, and C are done. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.